<clears throat> Lesson 74, we're going to look at uh, just equations of circles. Um, and the equation of a circle, it's, it's a formula. You just kind of got to memorize this formula here. It's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And I'll define all of those. If you want, if you want the reason why, you can look at example one. And it, this is basically just Pythagorean theorem. Um, is how they do it, but uh, you're welcome to explore that on your own. H and K, the X and Y are just coordinates on the circle. We know what X and Y are, those are just coordinates. H and K is your center of the circle. So I'll fast forward here to example two. We have circle D and it gives one, three. Well, that would be H and K. Now we'll look at plugging those in in a second, but that's so your center, 1, 3, would be H and K for your equation there. And then R would be your radius. So your radius um, squared, and that would be your equation of the circle. So let's look at example 2 now. And in part A of example 2, it says write the equation of circle D. So we've got our equation here. And what we're going to have, X and, X and Y are always going to just stay as X and Y, just kind of like the Y equals MX plus B formula. You want x and y to just stay. Well, let's first look for our center of the circle. Our center, or hk, like we talked about, is 1, 3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in x minus h is 1. You got to leave that negative sign there, squared, plus y minus k, k is 3, squared equals, now our radius, well, it, we, it gives us a point A here at 1, 0. So this line, well, you can count or do the absolute value of the change in Y, but <clears throat> that radius would be 3. So radius would be 3 squared. And you can simplify that to be 9. So your equation of the circle here would be X minus 1 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 3 squared or 9. The book actually leaves it as 3 squared, so um, either way there would actually work. And that's how you do the equation of um, circle D. Now let's look at part B where it says circle E. I'm going to erase this here. It says circle E is concentric. With circle D. What does concentric mean? If you remember from past lessons, concentric means a circle with the same center. So circle E, we don't know the size of the circle yet, but we do know the center. The center is going to still be 1, 3. So we can keep our center here for circle E. And then it says it has a radius of 5. So that means we have a bigger circle. We don't know where the point is, but we do know the radius is 5. So if we have our radius and our center, R and HK, we can plug in. We don't need to know any of the coordinates, uh, but we can plug into our formula here. So X minus 1 is our H plus Y minus 3 is our K squared equals, and our radius is just 5 squared, or 25. And that would be your equation of the circle, and that's all you have to do for those. Now let's look at example 3 where it says graph the circle. It says graph circle P, it's x squared plus 25 plus y squared equals 25. I'm going to rewrite the formula over here so you can see it. All right, so x squared plus y squared. So what do we notice? It doesn't have minus anything in parentheses. So that must mean that h and k are both 0. So our, or, uh, so our center of the circle, or HK, is just 0, 0. So if I'm graphing the circle, there is my center. And now much, what's my radius? Well, 20, it gives us 25, but we know it's R squared. 25 is not the radius. 25 is the radius squared. So we need to square root the 25 making our radius 
5. So from here we can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a coordinate, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 5. And as best as you can, draw your circle. I missed the dot there, but that would be what your circle would look like graphed. And then one more. So that one's easy. Now this one actually has the, uh, gives you H and K numbers here. I'm gonna graph, uh, I'm gonna put five dashes out real quick. Okay, then it gives us X minus two squared. All right, well, once again, our formula, X minus H squared. So is it a negative two is that our H or is it a positive 2? Well, since this is a negative, that must mean our H is actually, uh, this way, HK, if we are plugging in a number, it must be 2 because if we plugged in 2 to X minus H, that's how you would get a negative. So what you notice is if it's actually positive in the formula, it means it's originally negative for the center. Kind of confusing, but hopefully you can understand that. Um, so H is 2, meaning Y, or sorry, K is 1. So our center is 2, 1. Gives us a radius, or gives us 16 in the R squared position. So square root that. And you move over four times, one, two, four times. And there is somewhat what your circle would look like. And that is how you graph a circle. And that would be the end of lesson 74.